July 2016, 26 students from 12 nationalities attended the E4D, Engineering for Development Summer School, which took place in the charming university town of Delft in the Netherlands. It was jointly organised by ETH Global and the team of Dirk Hebel, ETH Assistant Professor of Architecture and Construction. I was very pleased that the E4D Summer School was hosted by Theo Delft. Theo Delft and ETH Zurich, two of the leading technical universities in Europe, members of the IDEA League, joined forces to prepare the students for this engineering for development topic. The three-week program focused on sand, an infinite resource, presenting an integrated vision to a global challenge of today's construction industry. It dealt with aspects of diminishing material resources and sustainable construction in the global context. We invite students to rethink material cycles. Sand is one commodity that's been used massively on a global scale. With thinking about sand, or while thinking about sand, students also learn about life cycle assessment, they learn about material scarcity, and they have to think of alternatives. Some 20 lecturers from ETH Zurich, TU Delft, and international experts from academia and research organizations shared their knowledge with the students in lectures, discussions, group work, and excursions. Uh, my major is mechanical engineering, so uh, this summer school was pretty new to me. Uh, a lot of new, new things I learned. I realized that geology is much more than just studying rocks. Uh, and uh, I also learned a lot about sand, sand uh, and its potential to be used as a building material. So uh, that way I, I like the summer school. I learned a lot. Excursions led to the Sand Engine, a large innovative coastal protection project near The Hague, to Tagebau Hambach, Europe's largest open pit lignite mine in Germany, and to the 3D Print Canal House project in Amsterdam. I definitely recommend uh, the summer school. It was for anyone who's uh, interested in sustainability and how we can apply new solutions for the future. And Hands-on workshops were dedicated to working with sand and learning about alternative material processes for construction, such as biocementation, biopolymerization, and salt crystallization methods as low-energy alternatives to conventional cementation that still contributes massively to global CO2 emissions. The most important thing about the workshop is that uh, the students get hands-on experience with the materials they're working with. So where they have to work with sand, they have to feel sand and see what it's, how it behaves if you, if you put your fingers on it, if you, how you can mold it, how it behaves when it's wet, when it's dry, when you add something to it. So if you want to understand how sand behaves, you have to do some hands-on experience in order to be working with it and using it as a construction material. Finally, the participants worked in small groups to develop their own alternative materials. The groups produced surprising results activating abundant organic resources such as cotton waste, peanut shells or algae in combination with biological transformation processes. They compared and discussed their discoveries with a life cycle assessment and by presenting their prototypes. In this way, they learned about the complexities of sustainable material economy and were challenged to assess technological solutions in a broader societal context. At a personal level, it was very interesting to see how people from different cultures and disciplines work, um, behave, how they tackle projects and also how they interpret ideas. And also, what I think is very important, how they um, relate a specific idea to their own cultural region. The summer school was the second in the program Engineering for Development E4D, Science and Technology for the South. The goal of the E4D program is to promote the development of products or methods which are directly relevant for improving the livelihoods of poor people in developing countries. 
I am greatly motivated to prepare the next E4D summer school which will take place in Cape Town, South Africa and will have the topic of energy for development.